Hello, and welcome to week 14 of Pavlov Shack Gun of the Week. To follow things up from last week, we used the Mini AK, and today we got a fresh new gun with a fresh new start. So let's remove Mini AK, shuffle things up a little bit, and we'll take a spin. Seems like the gun that I'll be using this week will be a very bad pistol. That's thankfully only on one side of the team. So let's get started in Pavlov Shack. Starting things off in the shooting range, you can find the Beretta M9 on the pistol's wall. It'll be right below the 1911. Use it now. To find it in the buy menu, you open it up, go to pistols, it'll be there for $250. Here's a demo me reloading it. Press B, insert a new mag, and charge it up. And here's some more things about this gun. It can take every single pistol attachment, meaning the suppressor, red dot, and even the laser. And here are some bit more things about this gun. It costs $250, like I said before, the money per kill is 300 The rounds per mag this gun can hold is 16 This gun does not have the one shot headshot potential, meaning you have to fully tap a person three times out of helmet to fully kill him. To use this gun better, I recommend that you aim up all the iron sights. This gun can be very, very useful during S and D rounds, during the pistol rounds. Um, after that, it can be quite challenging, but usually with all the new players coming up after Pavlov Shack in the holidays, they usually don't wear a helmet, so this is where this gun really, really shines on killing them. Considering how cheap this gun is, it's very rare to get money lower than $1,250, so I can always afford this gun every single time. If I have more than enough money, I can assist my teammates. So leaving the shooting range, I dropped right into Team Deathmatch offline mode to get better with this gun. It was quite easy to use with the bots since they usually do not wear the helmets. It was also kind of hard to kill the bots whenever they wore the helmet since this gun takes a pretty long time by tapping them at the chest to fully kill them. Leaving offline mode, I jumped right into online mode, and to get better with this gun, it's gotten pretty easy to use, but after post pistol rounds, this gun has gotten very harder to use, but I've gotten over that and still got kills with it. of the week using this gun has gotten very very easy to use i say it's a pretty fun pistol to use during pistol rounds it also just gets quite difficult after pistol rounds i should really bet that you go after the rifle but this is a pretty easy and close-up range gun that for me to use so i hope you guys all enjoyed i'll see you on the next episode of pavlov shack gun of the week gun 15